Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi, and I'm going to be sharing a Timu haul with you guys today. Again, so this is part two of the um, last Timu haul I just filmed, so uh, go check that out if you haven't seen it yet, because uh, there's a lot of great stuff in there, and I just had to split it all up into two videos because it was getting so long. Um, it was a lot of Timu orders since the uh, first haul that I filmed. Does that, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. I promised you I wouldn't uh, wait too long in between videos this time like I did last time. It was like a month, which I guess isn't too long, but you know what I mean. I kept saying that uh, Timu haul was coming, and um, here it is. So there was five orders total, and I did like two and a half of them last time. So we're going to do the rest of the orders up to date so far. They're all here. So I'm just going to go through them with you guys. Um, first things are the baby items, as I promised from the last order. Um, and if you want to know where my earrings are, they're from my last video, last Timu haul. I'm not sure when this video is going to be up exactly. Um, so if you like the earrings, they're from Timu. Check out my last haul and also the hair piece, which I'll probably uh, cut off this long piece. The other one fell off while I was opening it. Um, yeah, I'll probably cut off the longer piece if you, I, uh, fell off while I was opening it in the last haul. Anyways, this is like the perfect length for my hair though, the shorter ones. Anyways, so check that video out and let's get into this. So the first thing is these baby, what are they called? They're, they attach to like a stroller or, yeah, a stroller. So that your baby can't throw stuff it attaches like bottles and pacifiers and toys to it uh we already need this because uh Jax he doesn't throw stuff but he'll like drop toys on the ground out of his car seat so I mean this would be nice for that so it seals or closes with this little ball and put it through the hole you know to attach onto something and then get a smaller one on the other end for your toy or whatever so you got two um strings like in that style here and then you got one with this little loop i'm guessing for a bottle so yeah it's not like the colors i was gonna get but it ended up being cheaper than the other colors so um a pack of three of these on amazon is like ten dollars on sale and i got this for under two or it was 280. It on sale like the sales fluctuate on Timu a lot. So at one point it was under two dollars. So around two dollars for three of them. The other colors, the same ones I was gonna get on Amazon, were like three or four. So not that much more, but I ended up getting these because they were like a couple dollars cheaper, um, and still fine. They're just different colors, right? So they seem to be fine material. I'll boil them before giving them to my baby um well I'll make sure that they're able to be boiled but I think they will be able to be boiled uh, just to sanitize them and then yeah I'm sure they'll work they will work just as great as the Amazon ones um and then I also got another thing of baby clothes there's only one uh the rest of this I think is not baby related so if you're not interested in that skip ahead this next Till this next part is over anyways um so it's this little blue set is the long sleeve one um and i got it in six to nine months so hopefully jacks will be in this in the winter months because he's four months old but he's pretty small so it's october right now so hopefully like he'll actually be in this around christmas time or january and february so that's why i got the longer sleeves they I'm saying longer sleeves because they also had this set in shorter sleeves and shorts and they also had multiple colors and they're all adorable and I want like a lot of them <laughs> but I only got the one so far maybe when he's older we can get like a different color in the shorts set in a bigger size but it was seven dollars as opposed to the ones on Amazon I want to say are at least 25 um, maybe they go on sale for like 20 I don't know, but it's adorable. And I think these buttons are functional. So 
easier to fit over the baby's head, right? Um, and they're adorable. They're like, I don't know what material this is, but I really like the buttons. And it's like a soft, excuse me, a soft ribbed material. They're stretchy. They're cute. I don't know. They seem like they're the correct size. He's not in this size yet, but they look like the other six to nine month clothes I have gotten. Um, and it just says made in China. So yeah, baby clothes on Timu. You already know from my first, if you watched my first haul video that baby clothes are a must on Timu. If you, you know, like that sort of thing. Anyways, enough of the baby stuff. Let's get into the real haul, I guess. I'm just pulling up the orders on my phone so I don't forget anything. Because that's the thing about Dollar Tree haul. You never know. You just you have what's in the bags in front of you and you may be able to figure out what you got from the receipt but there's not like pictures and prices like on here so I'm not forgetting anything because I got a list on my phone and I'm dropping stuff you already know team every team haul so far I've dropped something yes two items okay I think we got everything back I'm glad I got this sweater on because I'm sitting in front of the air vent right here and I think we actually have the AC on because it was 80 degrees today and anyways it's really cold. <laughs> so let's see what's in this next haul here. Okay I got this little bracelet, this leather bracelet. Um, the card is in the other room. I gave it to my husband for our anniversary because it was our third anniversary and it's supposed to be like the leather anniversary if you go by you know the list of themed gifts for each other so I thought it'd be fun to just order him this little leather bracelet and it's like Morse code so it's supposed to say I love you in Morse code I guess that's what the card said um, so it's a great bracelet it seems to work really nice it's one of these closures which is always fun it's kind of big for him so if you have small wrists it's not gonna fit um and there's not really much you can do about it so it's a little big unfortunately but it seems really nice so if you have larger wrists i mean let's see if i could wear it maybe i'll just wear it myself <laughs> like it's great it was only a couple dollars it was under three so it's great over my sweater um Yeah, see how it's like, it doesn't close all the way around. I mean, it's fine. Anyways, he said it doesn't fit. So I'm not going to return it because it was a couple dollars and it's a thought that counts. But I thought it was a cute little uh, leather anniversary present for a couple dollars, right? So there's the bracelet. Can I do any short explanations in this video? Probably not. Also, I am drinking Mountain Dew, the voltage kind. And I'm dropping more stuff. Okay. This is a mess. I'm tempted to just start over. But we're going to keep going. Alright. Anywho. Save that for the end. What order do we want to go in? Okay. These are little wooden hexagons. So if you've seen um, my Dollar Tree hauls recently... Uh, you know I'm planning a hexagon Sweet 16 birthday party for my sister. She doesn't watch my videos, so it's a surprise if I didn't say that. Um, she won't know. Anyway, so that's why the hexagons. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them exactly yet, but I thought they'd be cute and I thought it'd be a fun idea to like decorate them like with little messages for her or something. Like, it's a bunch of 16 year olds, like a bunch of high schoolers, so... They don't really want to sit and decorate little wooden hexagons that, like, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. Um, but I thought it'd be a fun idea to make something out of these for her and just have everyone decorate one. That was the idea. It was a couple dollars again, um, and it should be 20 pieces in here, so they're the thinner wooden hexagon pieces. Again, much cheaper than if you found something like this, like, comparably to on Amazon. 
so it's like light wood so and it's nice and soft like smooth so it'll be nice to draw on or paint on or whatever I thought I'll just put some sharpies out for people and then it's like darker on the edges like darker stain yeah they're cute they're small they're only they're less than a couple inches long like in length yeah however you measure a hexagon um yeah it'll work great for her birthday party so it's just a couple dollars <laughs> okay we'll show you my planners next so i was looking for 2024 planners that were pretty cheap um but are like a nice layout that i can use and just yeah just a layout that i liked and it'll be useful to me and they're both under five dollars uh, this one was a really good deal it was actually like two dollars i'll show you this one first it's a budget planner they had different colors i think they had like black and pink so i just got the pink um i'm gonna say i don't know how many pages this is i don't know 100 gsm i don't know what that means <laughs> uh there's a lot of pages um, so I don't know like how many months it is. I've gone through one month and let me see here. All right, let's just go through the pages because you can't really see like everything you kind of can online, but it doesn't go through all the pages normally anyways. Wow. I need to go to bed. Um, so you put the month up here so it's not dated. So you have an undated calendar you can put the dates on like if you have bills coming out on certain days or whatever and income savings a little checklist there is nice if you got like different things for the month like December you got Christmas gifts or whatever birthdays like I have a bunch of birthdays coming up I don't know I thought that would be nice because it's a budget planner to put stuff like that here just whatever you want and then you put your monthly budget so it's got housing food health transportation others entertainment loans and then personal and it just breaks everything down for you so it's really nice if you're creating a budget or trying to stick to one or something um so yeah it's got those two pages and then it's got these exp expense trackers can't talk how many pages so one two four pages of that like two pages front and back um of just the expense tractors so you can vlog everything you paid for that month um even though it's all like on bank statements or now on like online i can check it on my phone but i think it is easier to like add it up and split it up and you know divide everything up when it's written down here so it's kind of a bit more work but if you do it day to day instead of like all at the end of the month like I did last month um it'll be easier to do if you do it like a daily thing and then after those four pages of expense trackers for the month you have a debt tracker and monthly budget overview so if you have like a car payment or medical debt or something um you put like the total amount needed and the minimum payment and like the balance and stuff like that how much you paid on it that month and then the spending analysis so you got a nice little chart here that you can like color in and the percentage of in each category that you spent and then you rate your overall month like spending that month so I thought it was really cool I've never had anything like this and then this is just like a bullet journal like the dots it's not blank it looks blank they're really fine dots but there are like little dots on this paper I really don't think you can see it because they're so light but that's one month so that's what like six pages so four of the expense trackers the monthly review so it's like seven pages or whatever um, so I don't know how many months, but there's quite a few of them in here. Probably more than a year. So it's two, three, four, five, six. Let's 
Hmm. Maybe it's just a year's worth. I mean, that would make sense. It just seems like there's more than 12 months worth in here. But there's a lot of stuff you get for the month. And I got this for $2. So anyways, if you don't care about budget planners, that was probably a waste of time for you. So skip through that part. But I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was really cool and helpful. I guess if or if you're already doing budget planners if you're into that kind of thing that's a really great one and then this is a weekly planner which I've always kept a weekly planner so this should be the one I'm using for 2024 I think it sh does it have months too because I mean I have calendars on the wall but this is just looks like a weekly planner which is okay it's one where you fill in the dates yourself too um so I kind of like having the dates on there because a, it's a lot of work sometimes if you have to write like every single date or even like a range just like the least writing actually the better even though it's surprising because this is a lot of writing um but I just liked the weekly layout of this so I still got it even though it doesn't have the month layout on there it's fine I can use my phone or a calendar it has like the um holidays and everything on there I really can't think right now it has the holidays if it's got the dates already filled out on here oh my gosh um but most of those holidays are in in my phone or I can google it because sometimes it's not in my phone or on a regular calendar anyways so there's that so this is one you do have to fill in the dates yourself which is not the best but then if you don't finish it for some reason and I don't know I don't really get the no dates thing like if I didn't use it this year I could use it the following year but then I never end up using it so I kind of wish it had dates in it but it's fine that it doesn't um it'll still be useful I guess um and it was under five dollars so a bit cheaper than I got for my planner last year even though I use it all the time anyway so let's go over the layout of this too so I believe it's 52 pages so one again for every week of the year and so you get weekly goals right here to-do list meal plan and grocery list which is what I was really excited about and actually why I chose this one over another one I was looking at um, even though the layout isn't as good as the other one or I don't like it as much but it's got the meal plan and the grocery list which I've never seen in a weekly planner so I really like that a habit tracker so if there's something you want to do every day drink water work out whatever um you can put write it down there and then check off every single day so there's like five five slots there so you can have five habits that you check off every day just FYI and then this is the like daily breakdown of the week so Monday through Sunday and then a little notes section and then you can put the dates there or not like I said I don't like filling in all the dates but sometimes it's nice to have them so you can there's a spot to fill in the dates for every day the holding it like this I think just makes it easier for you to see there's also a glare so it's split into eight sections on this side um, and yeah there's just 52 of those one for every day of the week. Yep. That's it. It says 52 weekly on the um, cover. Yeah, and then they had this in pink too, I believe. I just got the purple. Or not pink. Maybe pink. I don't know. I know they had a teal and then I got the purple one, as you can see here. It just says weekly planner on the front. You know, some of them say something like inspirational or cutesy on the front. It just says weekly planner. FYI. Wow. There is less stuff in this haul than the last one, I think. But I'm going to turn it into just as long of a haul. I can already tell because we're 20 minutes in. And if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching, even though we're not even done. Oh my gosh. One of those times where I think I should just start over. Okay. I got some things here I was waiting on. Because uh, they're gifts and... Wow. Okay. They're for my mom and although my sister doesn't watch my channel, uh, my mom does. So 
Mom, if you're watching, don't watch this part. Um, and I just wanted to put it all together so it was like easier. Anyways, for my mom. So we got birthdays this fall. It's October. We can start Christmas shopping now. Um, I'll take them out of this little packaging for you guys. So this is, I haven't said what it is yet. Sorry, I'm all over the place. They are cat bookmarks. They're magnetic bookmarks with cats on them. Uh, they're just a couple of dollars. I'm dropping stuff again. I'm about to be over it. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. Uh, how many? They get six in here and they're all different patterns. Okay, I'll take it out. I'll show you. It's a gift that I have not given yet. So I want to keep it nicer, like in the packaging, kind of still, not just like loose bookmarks. Um, but I'll show you. So there's six different cats. I think it's funny. My mom will enjoy it because she enjoys cats and reading. They're all just like little black cats, but in different positions. Won't go into too much detail, but yeah how cute are those and they're just little magnets I don't want to I'm afraid I'm going to like peel it the wrong way and break it but just little magnets you know bookmarks super cute I'll probably give it with like a Barnes and Noble gift card or something and there you go uh, there's a birthday gift so that's one thing for mom and one more thing so Alright, I have not taken this out of the packaging yet because there's styrofoam in it and I didn't want to get styrofoam everywhere, but this is heavy. Ooh, this is cool. Um, kind of spooky and smaller than I would have expected, but what it is, is supposed to be like a little planter. Um, ooh, there's even like neck bones on the back, I'm guessing. That's what that's supposed to be. Um, obviously it's a skull, so I'll probably give this to her for her birthday because it's kind of close to October or well, it's in November um but yeah still I mean you can use this all year round it doesn't have to be an October thing she'll probably think it's cool I hope so <laughs> and not creepy but there you go I don't know why I'm like leaning this far this because the box is right here uh it's really awkward um yeah it's just like a little planter and you know I can barely fit my hand in here so this is like how big it is. I had this in my cart for a while and was like waiting for it to go on sale and I ended up getting it for $4.99. So pretty good. Like it was like $10 or less without the deal. Um, I think there's a hole in the bottom maybe. It's <laughs> Did you see that? Okay styrofoam and I don't know what else just went everywhere Ew. um there's not a hole in the bottom there's like a tiny little thing but um it doesn't go all the way through for like drainage if you have plants in here <laughs> oh that was really gross anyways but it's nice it feels like heavy duty material literally heavy and it came the box came a little ripped but it was in like another package but anyways that's the how the box came oh that was gross do not blow into it styrofoam and heavy chemicals just blew in my face that was fun uh. anywho I want to get those over with so uh my mom can skip that part and um that was it so we'll go on to the next order wow words are not coming right now okay <sighs> weird just this is gonna be another long one so i hope you like long videos um this is for me so i'll take it out of the packaging and try it on because i need more stuff in my hair this was like a dollar or something. I know it was less than two dollars. 
dollar seventy nine. Okay. There's styrofoam everywhere. I still feel. I feel like I, I inhaled. <clears throat> I don't know what. Um. Hopefully this is comfortable. It looks pretty stretchy, and the fabric is like a soft material that's on here. They had different patterns, um, but they were all Halloween headbands. So if you if you couldn't tell, it's a Halloween headband. Uh, it's got spider webs and moons and ghosts and bats and oh the ghost has a little witch hat on anywho so I got this for myself for a little Halloween headband um, we'll leave that on for the rest of the video I guess it doesn't really go with my hairstyle but there it is anyways and then it won't be sliding off my lap. There's just so much stuff in my lap right now. It's a lot. Another thing for my sister. Well, I don't think there was anything else in this specific haul of this video for my sister. But in the last one, there was a lot of stuff. Um, her birthday's in October. So, this is a little shark. And I'll probably save it for Christmas. But anyways, it's still for my sister. Um, did I say it's a bookmark? It's a little bookmark shark. And it was under two dollars. That's like seems to be a theme here. It's like everything under two dollars from Timu. But not really. But most stuff is under two dollars from these hauls. Um, I don't really want to take it out of the packaging. I think you can see it pretty well. They had different ones like the Loch Ness Monster and that's the only other one I can think of. But I got the shark because I think she'll enjoy that one and she also likes reading. I could also do a Barnes & Noble gift card for her. We'll see. I have enough stuff for her for Christmas. Maybe we'll just do the bookmark. Um, it's pretty flexible. Anyways, so if how it works is like you can see the fin kind of sticks out so it doesn't go through the book. But the shark like body is thin so it can go in between pages and act as a bookmark, obviously. So, how cute that is. I really like that. Um, I think she'll like that too for Christmas or whatever. What's next? We have edible, edible glitter for like drinks and uh, cakes and stuff. This is for the party as well. It's black and gold themed. Oh, it looks so sparkly. My trash is behind me, so I'm just trying to take care of it as it comes. So. My husband said, you know, maybe don't buy edible stuff on Timu. I don't know if I trust it, but I figured, I'm like, you don't eat that much of this. It's not like really, really eating. You're just not eating a lot of it. Anyways, um, so I figured it'd be fine. And it was $2 versus like 6 or 8 or $10 or whatever it is on Amazon for the same thing. Like literally the same thing. Um... So yeah, this was just two dollars. I got it in gold or golden, whatever it's called. Um, how big is this? 0.14 ounces, but you don't like use a tiny amount of the stuff. Like when I say you don't drink a lot of it, you really don't because this is so small. Um, and you add it to drinks. So I haven't added it to like a large like a punch before I've only added it to like individual glasses before and I, I haven't ordered it it was at a party somewhere else who has got a little cap to keep the glitter in that's fancy um cuz I already this smells kind of good <laughs> hello welcome to the video where I inhaled styrofoam and sport glitter because I almost alright before I ingest it through my nose um we'll close that but yeah there's already glitter on my thumb and I thought it had a smell but it really doesn't I'm so excited it looks so pretty like you won't be able to tell through my crappy camera here but it's very pretty I'm so excited to put this in the punch at the party so edible luster dust in golden for two dollars 
How cool is that? Um, you can probably do something else besides put it in drinks. Like it says, cakes, cupcakes, cake pops, dust on shine, and luster to sweets. <laughs> um, shimmer powder for decorating. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. $2 glitter. Okay. I'm going to put it down because there's nothing else I can say about edible glitter without putting it in a drink. Which, should I put it in a drink? No. I only have the Mountain Dew and you can't like see inside of that so it's fine. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. Alright. There is something else. Where is it? Okay, I had to go get this um, from the other room because I just washed this as well. But it is a pumping bra and it's black and it was a really good deal. I think it was like one of those 90% off thingies. Oh, there's a sticker around here. Okay. Um, so I got this for $2.84 for a bra, let alone a pumping bra, which are like $30, $40 on Amazon. Um, this sticker is stuck to my finger and I can't get it off. It is distracting me. I'm sorry. Um, it's the size XXL, which is great because sometimes they don't go up that high. So if you got some, so if you got to fit more in your bra, then, uh, this, this will fit it. It fits really well. It's very comfortable and it seems like it will work well for pumping and nursing. So and it seems like more to have more like breathable stuff than the other bras which I just got in a three pack from Amazon um yeah I think they're in like my hospital bag video probably so if you're interested in pumping bras those are the ones actually they're nursing bras not pumping bras I don't have a pumping bra so I got this one and it was two dollars and it's comfortable and I probably wish I had a three pack of this one instead of the ones I do have so, look on Timu for that. There, there, there it is. Showing you my bra. Um, and the claps, the claps, clasps seem to work just fine. Just like the ones I already owned from Amazon. They might be like a little easier to come off, but like I don't think that's a bad thing really. They still click into place, so it doesn't really have a brand like it, nothing on here does is that weird I, I still feel like I ingested plastic from that ugh, that skull it's 92% nylon and 8% spandex and it's made in China it does not have a brand name so <laughs> there you go this is what it looks like and yeah Alright, two more things. I'm almost done. And it's going to be just about as long as the last video because we are already at half an hour. Um, these are for the hexagon party. There's these little plates. And I know what you're thinking. They look, well, you probably don't even remember. But they look just like the plates I got in my first Timu haul. And they're the same except for they're smaller. Um, I didn't want smaller plates, but these ones were sold out, and I didn't realize how big of a party it was going to be. Um, we're just inviting more people. So this is a pack of eight. So this is eight 10-inch plates, and this is also eight, I think. No, 10-piece, but eight inches, so... 8 10 inch plates and 10 8 inch plates but they're the same pattern just different sizes so now I have 18 plates it's still not really enough but I can supplement it with other plates that I have and just put them in between or something um so I don't know I guess it's still a good deal like if you don't want to go to Dollar Tree like it's better patterns than they have at Dollar Tree and hexagon plates are hard to find and it's cheaper than getting them on Amazon where I don't know this might be like 10 or 15 dollars for 10 plates this was 350 for the 10 pack and then I had the 8 pack 
already. Anyways, so three dollars for ten little hexagon plates. Pretty good deal since they're harder to find and they're black and gold and go with the whole theme. Um, because I have hexagon plates from Dollar Tree, but they're like pastel colors, but they could still work too if you want to go even cheaper, but they might not be as good of quality. I'm not sure. Um, okay, one more thing, and it is a hat for my husband. Uh, it is for Halloween. We're going to be, well, I'm going to be Cruella de Vil. Uh, I have a Dalmatian costume for Jax, and then he's going to be one of the minions. Um, Jasper's the only name I can remember. I think the other one's Horus. So he's going to be one of them. There's, there's not going to be another one unless my sister wants to dress up as a guy. Uh, she's welcome to, but I don't even know what we're doing for Halloween this year, but we have a costume. So this is it. Uh, it hasn't been washed yet, so, and I have plenty of stuff on my head already. Um, but it seemed to fit them really well, so it's not like super small or anything. And this was 350 as well. And I really like the coffee color. I think it makes it more like vintage looking, even though it's already like a 60s, 40s hat, I think. Or is it like 20s? I don't know what age this is, but it's kind of, you know, retro. But it's called a newsboys hat or yeah I think that's what I searched for so if you type in newsboy hat this came up so that's what I got it for I just wanted a cheap hat is like half the price of the one on Amazon so there, there is that so that is our Halloween costume I was already Cruella DeVille a couple years ago so I already had the stuff for that um you want to see the dog too okay bonus Alright, as a little bonus, I'll show you the little Dalmatian I got that goes with the Cruella de Vil and the hat costume. This one's from Amazon um, and it's very soft and it does not have the feet attached. Some of them did, so this, this is the uh, Halloween costume. So this is from Amazon. I might be able to link that down below, but otherwise everything else is from Timu obviously and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um if you're still here leave me a little dog emoji and I will see you guys next time um yeah I don't know when the next Timu haul will be so I hope you enjoy my Dollar Tree hauls in the meantime bye